sound, how does it propagate sound velocity? And again, this is just some of the theory to sort of help understand. But as you I'm sure know, there's a speed of sound. And when aeroplanes go faster than that, it's, you know, Mark 1, Mark 2, and you hear the sonic boom and all of that sort of thing. But you certainly know that, you know, if there's a lightning strike uh, some distance away, you might see it lots uh, earlier than you hear it. It's because that sound is traveling along. I don't know why that man is jumping up in the air and calling albatross. It just came to me when I was doing this little graphic and it's still in the course. Um, but anyway, so in air, you know, the sound travels. It depends on the temperature of the air and humidity and whatnot, but at 344 meters per second. So it, it takes time to get from A to B. And that sound, um, uh, yeah, it, it travels at different speeds in different materials. And we could talk about this for a long time, but it's all about the density of the materials. And one cool way to visualize it, and I pinched this idea, you can see the reference down below, is to think of it like dominoes. And something that's more dense, the dominoes are closer together, you know, the molecules inside the material are closer together. So the molecules or the dominoes hit each other more quickly, so the sound travels faster. In a gas, where the molecules are much further apart, you can see it travels more slowly. Um, you know, just if you've ever wondered why. Um, now, we have, I mentioned earlier that the frequency um, is related to the wavelength, and but the sound itself is traveling at the same speed even though the pulsations are going up and down more quickly. So there's this kind of relationship between the frequencies and the wavelengths. The higher the frequency, the shorter the wavelength. The lower the frequency, the longer the wavelength. Anyway, this is one reason why if you look at your sound system um, with your deeper woofer speakers and your high frequency tweeter signals, uh, uh, speakers, it's because it's producing that sound, um, but because the wavelength is shorter, um, it comes out of a much smaller space. If the wavelength is longer, it, has, it needs more width of the speaker. And that's why, um, you know, the big woofers that you have, you know, the big bass speakers, you know, are, are quite large in order to create those really low frequencies. Um, Yep, so higher frequency versus lower frequency uh, coming out of the speaker. Anyway, and you know, if we look at the actual molecules and if you can sort of see the movement in the molecules here versus, you know, how quickly they move in steel and water. Um, anyway, it just, it's all about the density of the material. <laughs>